Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna solve this problem from Geek for Geeks. The problem statement is max mean. I mean maximum minimum. Let me read the question first. Given an array a of size n of integers, your task is to find the sum of minimum and maximum elements in the array. The question is pretty basic. It shouldn't take that much long time. Uh, yeah, we can already get the size of the array by this m. All right. So, example n equal five. That means the size of the array would be five, and there should be five unique elements in the array one two three four five exactly five all right output one why output is one because if we look close enough we can see that the maximum value is five and the minimum value is minus four so if we sum these two value up what we would get five plus minus four equal five minus four equal one all right so the output is one they have also provided the explanation here as well i don't need to think about that all right what i need to do they have provided me the task section here you don't need to read input or paint anything your task is to complete the function find sum which takes the array a and its size in as inputs and returns the summation of minimum and maximum element of the array the expected time complexity is order of n or you can say big o of n and to the expected auxiliary space is big O of 1. The constraints, all right. I don't need to think about it anymore. They have provided me the driver code. This is the driver code. All right. I don't need to think about the driver code because I can simply work on this solution. I have to simply implement this function, which would sum up the maximum value and the minimum value. As you know that I am currently running a Java playlist coding practice or coding solve using java so i'm gonna use java as well so i have to solve this code here for this problem it's not really necessary to open up any uh, ide or code editor i can simply write my code here all right so i'm gonna simply do that right now all right so first of all what i'm getting from the user or you can say from the driver code i'm getting the whole array and the size of the array all right now let me declare um, three variables one variable for storing the max value all right another variable for storing the minimum value and another integer variable for storing the summation let's say summation like this all right so first of all i'm gonna assume that the first index value would be the maximum value and the same as always the first index value as the minimum value like this so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna simply initialize the value first right like this for integer max a0 a of 0 means the first index value because you should have known by now that always array starts from the index number 0 all right so integer minimum equal to array of zero if you want you can change it like this if you think that you are gonna take the first index value as the maximum value and uh, if you want to uh, assume that the second index value would be the minimum value and if you want to check them at the beginning like if uh, if array of zero is greater than add, uh, add of one that's fine because we have already declared the maximum value would be r of zero but if array of zero is um, array of zero is less than array of one then the maximum value i mean the max would be max equal array of one you can also do that but but i'm not gonna do that right now because that kind of seem complex although it's uh, i can assure you that's not that much tough at all okay uh let's jump into that that code which i'm gonna solve using my way using my thinking all right so let me take a for loop and let me declare an integer variable starting from zero and i would be less than n because n is the size of the array so i can simply use that and i plus plus all right and now i need to check the maximum value and the minimum value so i can i'm gonna simply use the if else statement that's very much easy if array of i is greater than 
maximum value then what i need to do i need to assign that maximum value to the array of to the max variable so by doing this we can get the maximum value from the array and for the minimum value we can do this if array of i is less than the my assumed minimum value then what i can do i can simply assign that minimum value to here so after finishing this i'm gonna get the actual minimum and maximum value from the array and as i have already got the maximum and minimum value from the array what i can do now i can simply calculate the summation so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna simply use summation equal to max plus min like this and then i have to return something because the method returns an integer value summation is also integer so i can simply return the summation like this now before submitting this code let me simply compile and run this code first all right compilation completed all right there's no error so i can simply submit this code problem solved successfully all right you get marks only for the first correct submission if you solve the problem without giving the full solution all right they are telling me this because i have already solved this problem i mean before creating this video i have already solved this problem so that i won't get stuck during the recording so you can understand what i'm doing here all right so that's it for today now don't worry about the source code because i'm gonna provide that anyway so this is for today We'll see you in another video. Thank you.